uh, NFL picks for this week. Let's start with the Thursday game. I correctly predicted the Lions to beat the Rams uh, or to, to beat the Vikings for the Vikings to fall to five one because it's Rams. That's Gamacho fifty one, and that hit exactly. But I do like the Rams to stay in playoff contention to have a three and four record. L.A. Rams is Gamacho thirty four. The L.A. Rams they do get Cooper Cup back, so something to look out for. Uh, the Vikings can fall to 5-2, and two actually, after losing against the Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams is Camacho 52. And the Vikings, they play on Sunday night against Indy next. And it's Indy that's Camacho 52. So I do like the Rams to win on Sunday night. Packers and the Jaguars, you can never be too sure. The Jaguars could fall to 2-6, and six, losing against Jordan Love. It's Jordan, that's Camacho, of uh, uh, 26. So, basically, the Lions are going to beat the Titans to be 6-1 and one because it's Detroit Lions, that's Camacho, 61. So, the Titans are losing this week. So the Packers are going to keep pace with the Lions. It, it, maybe the Packers and the Lions are going to battle this out for the division. Uh, the Cardinals and the Dolphins, Tua will probably be back. For the Cardinals, they'll be 4-5 and five at some point. Because it's Bears, that's Camacho 45. I think with Tua's return, though, Miami's going to get back in the playoff picture. So the Dolphins are going to beat the Cardinals. And um, Miami could thus improve to 3-4, and four, the Miami Dolphins. Because uh, Dolphins is Camacho of... Right. I, I always keep thinking Dolphins is Camacho 43, although... Um, Yeah, they, they could lose at Miami. Two and number 13, one and three record away. So, yeah. Cardinals should be four and five after Miami. It's just which week are they going to win? Which week are they going to lose? Miami and Bears is 45. So, for the Cardinals, I just happen to think that this will be Tua's week. And, and um, Tyreek Hill and Dolphins have more weapons than the Chargers. Uh, Jets and the Patriots. The Patriots fought a one and seven. First year without Bill Belichick. Bill seventeen. Mays Camacho seventeen. Drake May. So the Jets do bounce back next week. Eagles and the Bengals. The Bengals stay alive in the playoff picture. The Bengals are four and four. They get their first home win. That's kind of the script um, for that week. Uh, the Eagles go lose. You know, fought a four and three. Eagles twenty two fought a four and three for the year. They have Jacksonville next. It's Jacksonville. That's Camacho forty three. Eagles haven't been very good this year. They, they only beat the Giants. I, I like Cincinnati Bengals to come in and win the football game at home next week. Ravens are on the roll. The Clowns are terrible. Lamar's born on January the 7th, 1-7. It's another loss for the Browns. Simply, simply enough. Doug Williams, number 17. It's John Harbaugh's 17th year, so Cleveland's going to fall to 1-7. Baltimore will improve uh, to 6-2. To, to The uh, Colts and the Texans. Colts have a primetime game against Minnesota. This is interesting. So I think the Texans will probably be 6-3 and three at some point. Because 63 is Gamacho Aaron Rodgers. So it's a matter of which team do they beat? Do they beat the Colts or do they respond and they beat the Jets? Richardson's Camacho 62 in reverse. They could improve the 6-2 and two with the win over the Colts. The Colts losing, hypothetically, helps out the Chargers, keeps the playoff race interesting. Chargers will be 4-3 and three with the win over the Saints. Chargers 43, the injury of Derek Carr is impacting their season. Uh, Derek is Camacho 43, so the Chargers definitely going to win uh, next week.
Bills and the Seahawks. The Seahawks are losing this week against Buffalo and, and Josh Allen to fall to 4-4. Four and four. Allen's Camacho 44. So, yes, Cardinals lose, but also Seahawks lose, which the 49ers are going to be tied with the Seahawks and first the Cardinals within a game. Um, 49ers 3-2 and two at home coming off the game against the Chiefs. So the Cowboys are, are going to lose again. For the Cowboys, they fought at 3-4, and four, losing against the Niners. Niners is Gamachi 34. Giants and the Steelers, we can automatically assume that the Giants are going to lose again. Wilson's 25. Giants enter that game with a 2-5 and five record. Giants are losing that one. Giants are terrible. Yeah, you know, the Ravens and the Steelers, they, 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 they keep pace with each other. Raven, Ravens and Steelers will be tied on top of the division. If Lamar beats the Steelers, he can win MVP. Now, the Broncos are having no problems with the Panthers. 5-3, and three, beat the Panthers, B5-3. and three. So, Panthers... They're a to one seven. Andy Dalton, another quarterback. Andy Gamacho, 17, but the fall to one and seven. The quarterback's a very significant part uh, of the football field, so many of these games will probably be synced up with quarterback play. The Chiefs can be 7 0. They're going to win at Vegas. The Raiders fall to two and six. Chiefs coming off the game at the Bay Area. Bay Area, Gamacho, 26. Kansas City is 7-0. Need I say more? Seven straight wins, 7-0. Antonio Pierce was talking smack. I don't see any 6-1 for the Kansas City Chiefs against a team without a quarterback. Las Vegas Raiders 61, but a game that, that the Chiefs could find a little difficult is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the next week. So I like this win streak to reach 13 games uh, for Kansas City. Falcons and the Bucks. You know, if the Buccaneers, if they beat the Chiefs, I'll probably go Buccaneers or lose another game. Um, no figure league. That game's a little iffy, but I'll I'll go I'll go Atlanta. Bears and Commanders, and are, are the Commanders starting the their quarterback that week? So yeah, Cardinals a game behind the Eagles. They're within two games of the Vikings, even when the Vikings lose. So what's going to happen to Chicago? Are they really going to lose two straight games? The fought a four and four, going for four and five against New England because New England's going on to forty five. They know, could they go for 5-5 five and five at Lambeau? Because Cardinals going to beat the Bears. I, I got to continue to go with Washington. At the nation's capital. Capitals, Gamache, 62. 6-2. Just, you may have to go with the Commanders again after last week's game. Steelers and Commanders, that ends up being a very interesting game. So it could be the plan for the NFL. So you got to assume that... Um, the commander's offense will just be better than the Bears. This will conclude the picks for this week. Got a little underdog flavor, the 50-50 between the Eagles and the Bengals, and um, Tua's return is an interesting storyline. Um, 
Primetime games, it looks like uh, these are the games that I have the upsets in. Buccaneers come back in the division, or it's Captain Kirk that collapses. So if Atlanta loses, uh, if if Atlanta loses, they could be going for four and five against Dallas. So hey, maybe maybe the Falcons do maybe the Falcons do lose. I mean, Falcons have easy games in December. Play the Panthers. Play the Saints. So hmm, maybe they lose in. Take, take advantage of some easy games. Tampa is at home. Buccaneers can play the Chiefs next. Chiefs come on to 32. So I'm going to roll with Tampa Bay. That's some, some garbage time points. is going to help them out a little bit. And the Falcons may be a team in the wild card race in uh, the NFC. Falcons lose and Seahawks lose. And suddenly Cardinals are... Rams are in the wild card. Just it's, it's this league. Teams within a half game of the Eagles, too. I mean, the, the sixth and seventh spots. So this could start to get pretty interesting. It get, or it, potentially, the Cowboys have to play for the wild card. <laughs> 